Hey, what's up, guys? And how y'all doing today, baby? I wanted to bring you a Diddy update. Remember a certain someone told y'all that Diddy was under investigation by New York State, New York City, and also the special investigation, the Federal Special Investigation Unit in, I believe, the Southern or Eastern District of New York City, the same people that bought down El Chapel, just saying Maxwell, um, um, uh, Harvey Weinstein, all right? They took Cassie's complaint seriously, and apparently it's somehow connected to BMF. Uh, BMF is Black Mafia Family, if you guys don't know. I'll get into all that later. Let me tell you the real tea. Baby, we got hardcore proof that it's happening, and guess what? It's coming from someone that knew Diddy real good, if you know what I'm saying. Y'all, there's been a... Okay, let me just get out and say it. Fonsworth Bentley has confirmed that baby people are knocking on his doorstep. The major cable network that's doing a four part, four part deep, dark dive investigating series into Diddy and baby, this ain't 50 cents. There's also one being produced in the UK, but the American cable one is the one that he should be. Well, I guess he should be worried about both of them. Baby, Fontworth Bentley has spoken, and the streets are saying he's letting Diddy know, baby, my silence comes at a price. Because let's not forget, um, Fontworth Bentley was under Diddy's umbrella. for Well, actually, Diddy was under Fontworth Bentley's umbrella for quite a while. You can stand an umbrella, a a a. It's raining. Ooh, Diddy, it's raining. Yo. I'm just saying. Now, we don't know the exact nature of their relationship, all jokes aside. From what we hear, Fonsworth Bentley is happily married in Georgia with, I believe, two daughters, um, but definitely two children. He has left Diddy's life behind, and he has not looked back. But, baby, it looks like he's coming back to send a message to Diddy, and, baby, we need to talk about it. We're also going to go into some important information on what's happening with Diddy, if he's going to settle updates on the court case and how he is scrambling to save himself and everything else he loves y'all let's get into this also you guys hit the like button um or not we'll see if i create value but also if anybody's on snapchat you guys i am getting on snapchat make sure you follow me and support i'd really appreciate it okay fine let me get back into this. Okay, so if you guys don't know, just a few moments ago, Fonsworth Bentley posted, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. And he quoted Jay-Z. Holly Wong Black said, well then, Fonsworth Bentley shares an interesting post while quoting Jay-Z. See, here's the problem, right? It's getting bigger than Diddy can hold. Diddy thought this was going to be, you know, oh, I got accused of S.A. and great. Maybe I'll pay. Maybe I won't. Right. But the thing is, things are getting really hardcore. Now, if you want to know who the streets are saying are the ones that really amplified it. Well, let's get into this. First of all, before we do, I do need to say Diddy has maintained his... um innocence. Um, he says that he will be reborn. Easter is coming. And he said, Christ isn't the only one that's going to be reborn. He says that just because he settled with Cassie, it does not mean he's guilty. I have to let you know that everything I'm saying is based upon information and belief and make sure between court documents, blogs, news articles, and of course, what the streets are saying. Also, nothing has been either independently verified to be true or false. It needs to be proven in the court of law. And Diddy is adamant that when he gets into court, we will all see the truth. I, for one, believe all the accusations, but that's not it. So what's bringing this down? You would think it was Cassie because Cassie actually hinted, okay? Cassie hinted that um, she would have to hold Diddy's hammer. Wow, if you know what I'm saying, right? And she said one day he came in and asked for the hammer and then ran out the apartment and she would make Cassie hold his hammer. All right, fine. Much like he did with JLo. A lot of people think that's what got them involved. Now, truth be told, the streets are saying it's a mixture of everything. One, the blank trafficking accusations. Two, he did it internationally. Three, he's being accused of doing it 
um, inter interstate, right, which brings it into feds. They're also saying that, at least Cassie's lawyer, that Diddy got seat money from the BMF to start Bad Boy. If you don't know what that is, that is a Black Mafia family. Now, back then, Black Mafia family had their seat money everywhere. When the big labels didn't believe, they believed because they were from the culture and they invested heavily in the culture. As a matter of fact, go watch my interview with Gene Dill. He talks about how one of the re when Wolf and Diddy, Wolf was his best friend. Um, when Wolf and Diddy were beefing, what part of the reason they fell out is because Diddy was supposed to pay tithes to Big Meech and them. Uh, well, not Big Meech, but the people uh, around Big Meech. While Big Meech and them was in jail, and Diddy decided when they were in jail, he wasn't going to pay anything. He was just trying to get out of it. Go watch the video for the whole story. It's actually pretty, it's pretty deep. Okay, but. Let's get back into this. So the Black Media Mafia could be enough because if you guys don't know in the Eastern District of Missouri, the Black uh, Mafia family is looked at kind of like as a criminal organization. So when that comes down racketeering, until they pull down every single faction, they will still consider it under um, RICO charges. Why is that important? Because the Black Mafia family in the Eastern District of Missouri just got 35 arrests for doing a whole bunch of stuff. They are still 100% active and the feds are still actively trying to take them down. And if they can take Diddy down by proxy, even better. But what's the real tea? What's the real tea why everybody's so scared? Well, don't you know? Remember when I told you that Aubrey and them, um, Dawn, D. Woods and whatnot from the making of the band uh, were still involved there's a lot of contractual disputes because diddy was really slick about the way he basically stole from people but it wasn't just that he stole from people apparently he was harassing these women too they have voice notes they have emails they have videos again as bad as diddy treated cassie he still had more respect for cassie than he did for some other women whose careers he's launching because at the end of the day uh, Cassie wasn't as disposable to him as these other women were. Believe it or not, as dark as what Cassie went through, that is a success story. So there's a couple of things going down. There's also to the point of when he's looking about, about can he come back into uh, the music industry? I don't know about that. We know Tiffany Red actually did an interview where she spoke in detail about Diddy wasn't just a monster to Cassie. He terrorized a lot of women around him. Men too, including Tiffany Red. Now, keep in mind, Tiffany Red is one of the people uh, that have founded this group. It's called Eat Predators. They're protesting uh, the Grammys. Um, they're also uh, uh, there's also Match the Source, right? Um, they're focusing on the CEO of the Grammy Grammys, Harvey Mason Jr. Um, because he's being investigated for stuff. I'll do a separate interview about what Tiffany Red has going on, or maybe I'll talk about it on live. If I don't go live tonight, I'll definitely go live tomorrow. I know it's been a while since you guys saw me, but let me get to the point, okay? Why is that important? Because here's the thing. I know it sounds like, like I'm rambling. Stay with me because all these things make a difference. As a matter of fact, now that Anything Diddy's associated with gets extra eyes on them. You even have Tiffany, um, you even have Tiffany Red involved in stuff and spearheading uh, organizations holding the music industry accountable. Diddy's being looked at as a pariah. The block is hot. Everybody knows that, okay, something's going on, but it's never quite been confirmed because as far as Diddy knows, he's heard rumblings, but the feds have not directly talked to them. They definitely didn't raid his office. Nothing's going on. Now, the women that accused him of things, the victims, and other people have been have been approached by these investigation the investigation units, okay? New York State, New York City, and also the uh, Southern Eastern District of New York, the feds, okay? The special investigation unit. The thing is, they need one person, and there's always one person that ties everything together. Cassie can tell her story, okay? The the girls from uh, Dana Decane can tell their story. The poor victims that are suing Diddy as Jane Doe's, they can tell their story. And people will whisper and ties will come in. But the 
thing is, right? And we even have Tiffany Rad weighing in, uh, telling horrible stories about the way that Diddy treated her. We have all that stuff coming in. But what? What actually is missing? Well, I'll tell you what's missing. They need one witness to corroborate everything. They need one person, right? They need one person to stand against everything. They need one person that can say, I was there, I witnessed it, and this person needs to be of upstanding moral character. They need to be somebody that was with Diddy for a decade. They need to be somebody that was with Diddy day in and day out that maybe witnessed, maybe participated, or helped procure. Now, when it comes to who could that perfect witness be that could really crumble Diddy's whole empire? Well, it looks like it's Fonsworth. It looks like it's Fonsworth. It looks like it's someone who was literally like your shadow. Then one day, poof, the moose, right? Poof, be gone. Ba -ba. Fine, I'll stay serious, right? But it looked like one person that out the blue just went poof and was gone. This is Fonsworth Bentley. He's gotten the calls. He's being approached. Y'all, the fall of Diddy is coming. Now, here's the crazy thing. Fonsworth Friendly wasn't just around, did he? And if he does testify, or not even testify, just cooperates, if he does tell them everything he knows, okay, then it's not just Diddy that's going to go down. It could be everybody that was closely associated with Diddy around that time, what they knew, what they participated in. Again, we're going to have to see and that would be why maybe Fonsworth Bentley is posting things on Instagram, doing a Roger Bonds flat out saying, when I get, let me get this quote, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Listen, Diddy better open up his Diego slush fund. He better get all the money he can. He better do all what he can to make sure that he starts a college fund for Fonsworth Bentley's children. However, this is the interesting thing that the streets are saying. What if Fonsworth Bentley is making a promise, not a threat? What if this is something that money can't fix? And what if Fonsworth Bentley has to get his lick back with Diddy because too much transpired and he saw too much felt too much, participated in too much for him to let him go. Y'all listen, this is developing. I'll keep you posted, but I'm telling you, they are two seconds off of Diddy's AS. Okay, y'all, okay. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. I'll be going live tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.